بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم our first integral is x from 0 to 1 x over the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x let's call this integral omega and use the substitution x equal to the hyperbolic tangent of z if x is 0 z is 0 if x tends to 1 from below z tends to plus infinity we have integral from 0 to infinity the hyperbolic tangent of z over z d the hyperbolic tangent of z we can write this part as one half d the square of the hyperbolic tangent of z Let's do integration by parts. We need to take the limit of 1 over z times the square of the hyperbolic tangent of z. As z tends to infinity, this tends to 1. The denominator tends to infinity, so the limit is 0. If z tends to 0 from above, we can apply L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of z is 1. Upstairs, we get this function of z, which tends to 0. So when we integrate by parts, we get minus 1 half integral z from 0 to infinity, the square of the hyperbolic tangent function of z. Then the derivative of 1 over z with respect to z, that's minus 1 over z squared. Our integral, omega, is one half the integral z from zero to infinity, the square of the hyperbolic tangent of z divided by z. Starting with the infinite product representation of the cosine function, replace x by i x. So cosine i x, which is the hyperbolic cosine of x, is the product over non-negative integer n of one minus four, and then we have minus x squared, so we have plus x squared. In the denominator, we have pi squared times the square of two n plus one. Take the logarithm of both sides. The logarithm of the product is the sum of logarithms. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. On the right-hand side, we do term by term differentiation. On the left-hand side, we get 1 over the hyperbolic cosine of x times the hyperbolic sine of x. That's the hyperbolic tangent of x. The derivative of the logarithm with respect to x is 1 over this quantity. And then we differentiate with respect to x to get 8x over y squared to n plus 1 squared. Divide both sides by positive x. The hyperbolic tangent of x over x is summation over non-negative integer n of 8 over 4x squared plus y squared 2n plus 1 squared, taking 4 as a common factor. The hyperbolic tangent of x over x is 2 times the sum n from 0 to infinity of 1 over x squared plus y squared over 4 times 2n plus 1 squared. Let's use this series representation to evaluate this integral here, which is 2 times the integral of interest omega. The integral x from 0 to infinity of the square of the hyperbolic tangent of x over x is 4 times the integral over positive x of this double sum. The sum is this quantity here, multiplied by a copy in which the summation index n is replaced by m. If we write down the difference between these two ratios, we get the product in the denominator. In the numerator, we get by squared over 4, 2m plus 1 squared minus 2n plus 1 squared. Thus, the product can be written as this difference divided by this quantity. We can write the difference between the two squares as 2n plus 2m plus 2 times 2 times n minus m. When we integrate term by term, the integral of this part is 1 over pi over 2, 2m two plus 1, the inverse tangent of x over pi over 2, 2m two plus 1. When we use the limits of integration, 0 and infinity, this becomes pi over 2 divided by pi over 2 times 2m two plus 1. When this function of x is integrated, we get the exact same result with m changing to n. The overall integral is 2n minus m over 2m plus 1, 2n plus 1. n minus m goes away with n minus m. This integral is equal to 16 over pi square, the double sum over non-negative integers n and m of 1 over 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1, 2n plus 2n plus 2. 1 over 2n plus 2n plus 2 can be written as the integral x from 0 to 1, x to the power 2n plus 2n plus 1. Interchanging the order of integration and summation, we get 16 over pi squared, the integral x from 0 to 1 of x multiplied by the square of the sum over non-negative integer n of x to the 2n divided by 2n plus 1. The Taylor series expansion of the inverse hyperbolic tangent function is summation n from 0 to infinity x to the n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. Thus, this summation here is the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x divided by x. When this is squared, we get integral x from 0 to 1 of the square of the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x. In the denominator, we have x. The inverse hyperbolic tangent function of x is minus 1 half the natural logarithm of 1 minus x over 1 plus x. When this is squared, we get 16 times 1 fourth, that's 4 over pi squared integral x from 0 to 1, len 1 minus x over 1 plus x all squared divided by x. Let's do the change of variables, y equal to 1 minus x over 1 plus x, x is equal to 1 minus y over 1 plus y, dx is minus 2 dy over 1 plus y squared. When x is 0, y is 1. When x is 1, y is 0. We can use this minus sign to have the integral from 0 to 1. 2 times 4 is 8. Then we have dy over the square of 1 plus y. This part becomes ln y squared 
over 1 minus y over 1 plus y. In the denominator, we have 1 minus y times 1 plus y. That's 1 minus y squared. y is between 0 and 1. We can write 1 over 1 minus y squared as summation g from 0 to infinity, y to the power 2g. We then integrate term by term. If the real parts of a and b are greater than minus 1, we have the integral y from 0 to 1, y to the a, ln y to the power p, equal to minus 1 to the power b, gamma of p plus 1, divided by a plus 1 to the power p plus 1. b here is equal to 2. So upstairs, we have gamma of 3, which is equal to 2. Downstairs, we get 2g plus 1 cubed. This is the sum of the reciprocals of the third powers of the positive odd integers. So this is zeta of 3 minus 1 eighth zeta of 3. 16 times 7 over 8 is 14. Then we have zeta of 3 divided by pi squared. The integral of interest omega is equal to 7 times zeta of 3 divided by pi squared. This is the integral x from 0 to 1, x over the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x. We also obtain that this integral x from 0 to infinity of the square of the hyperbolic tangent of x over x is equal to 14 zeta of 3 over pi squared. And that the integral x from 0 to 1, the square of the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x divided by x is equal to 7 over 8 zeta of 3. The second integral we have is x from 0 to 2, 1 over the square root of 1 plus x cubed. We can express this integral in terms of the beta function using the change of variables y equal to 2 over 1 plus the square root of 1 plus x cubed. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2 over 1 plus 1, that's 1. When x is equal to 2, the square root of 1 plus x cubed is equal to 3. y is equal to 2 over 4, which is 1 half. The square root of 1 plus x cubed is 2 over y minus 1. So 3x squared over 2, the square root of 1 plus x cubed dx is equal to minus 2 over y squared dy. dx over the square root is equal to minus 4 over 3, dy over x squared y squared. We need to write down x squared in terms of y. Square both sides of this equality. 1 plus x cubed is equal to 4 over y squared plus 1 minus 4 over y. 1 goes away with 1. x cubed is 4 times 1 minus y over y squared. x squared is 4 to the power 2 over 3. y to the power minus 4 over 3. 1 minus y to the power 2 over 3. If we multiply both sides by y squared, this y to the power minus 4 over 3 becomes y to the power 2 thirds. The integral x from 0 to 2, 1 over the square root of 1 plus x cubed is equal to 4 over 3. We can use this minus sign to have integral y from 1 half to 1. 4 to the minus 2 over 3, y to the minus 2 over 3, 1 minus y to the minus 2 over 3. Note that the integrand is symmetric about y equal to 1 half. So this integral is 2 over 3, integral y from 0 to 1. And then we have the same integrand. This is 2 over 3 times 1 over 2 to the 4 over 3 times beta of 1 third and 1 third, which is the square of gamma of 1 third divided by gamma of 2 thirds. We use the reflection property of the gamma function, gamma z, gamma 1 minus z is equal to pi over sine by z. If z is 1 third, we get that gamma 2 over 3 gamma 1 over 3 is equal to pi over sine pi over 3. This is 2 pi over square root 3. 1 over gamma of 2 thirds is square root 3 over 2 pi gamma of 1 third. When we multiply by this part, we get the cube of gamma of 1 third multiplied by these constants. The integral x from 0 to 2 of 1 over the square root of 1 plus x cubed is the cube of gamma of 1 third divided by pi times the square root of 3 times 2 to the 4 over 3. 